In this video, we are going to learn about how to enable SSH in Raspberry Pi even if we don't have an HDMI monitor and keyboard. So first you need to go to raspberrypi.org slash downloads then download Raspbian OS uh, click on the Raspbian and uh, download Raspbian Buster Lite. You can either uh, download using torrent or directly download as a zip file. After that, go to belena.io slash hr then download the hr software for your OS for Windows, Linux or Mac. I have already downloaded and installed it. Now connect the memory card to your computer or laptop then go to hr and, and click on select image and select the image which you just downloaded click open then select the target and choose the memory card which you just inserted click continue and then click flash and in mac it will prompt you to enter the password so enter the password and just click ok the flashing process will take uh, some time let me fast forward it ok now our flashing process has been completed now before putting the memory card into the raspberry we need to make some changes inside so just remove and plug the card again to mount it again Okay, now our Raspberry Pi card has been mounted. It is named as boot. Now go inside. Then inside just make a file uh, using text editor or something. In Windows you can use notepad. Then just make a new document. And save it. To the Raspberry Pi card. Name it as SSH. Save. Now you can see it here. Now we need to remove the extension of this file. In Mac you can go to get info. Then here come here under the name and extension and delete the extension and press enter and click remove. Okay, now the icon will change to like this in windows you can go to folder options and click the options uh, which will be written like a show extension then uh, delete the extension from the file now unmount the uh, memory card now connect the sd card into your raspberry pi then connect the ethernet cable and also connect the power supply and turn on the power now go to the modem configuration page using the IP address of your router it will be printed behind the router most probably it will be something like 192.168.0.1 or 1.1 something like that will come uh, mine is 1.1 now log in to your modem using the username and password which also will be printed behind the router mine is user ok now we are inside the router configuration page based on the company of your router the settings will may have some changes in mind then go to management then go to DHCP lease status inside that we can see raspberry pi and the IP address of it now open a terminal window then write SS, SSH 
pi at the right of enter the IP address which you have taken from the router page 192.168.1.1 9.4 and press enter then type yes enter now they will ask for the password by default the password will be raspberry raspberry tada now we are successfully inside the raspberry pi now if you need to change the default password just write P A S S W T and type the current password. Type the new password. So we have successfully entered the SSH of our Pi without using an HDMI monitor or a keyboard so i hope you like the video please subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos and don't forget to share and if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment box